we're back with another Art C T scrimmage. Ah, uh, this is Team R six N versus Team Fluctuate the rematch on Favela. We're testing this map out in the map pool. And uh we're gonna see how really unbalanced it is. We haven't seen Favela in ages and I really just want some old maps that are fun. I want them to be played in this and if if they turn out to be good, we're gonna keep them it keep it in the map pool. And that's how it's going to work. So yeah, we're here on Favela. Fluctuate versus R6N. Let's see how this turns out. Okay. Sorry for the little pause right there. The little skip, the little cut. I uh, had to do something. Just to make sure this was going to be good. So, we're here on Favela. <laughs> Favela, Favela. We're going to see Fluctuate. Our running the uh, the football. I don't even know what it's called. I haven't played on Favela in ages, ever since it was on on Ranked. That's how long it's been. But we're going to see them running football. Razor tried to get the run out. Didn't work out as he wanted it to. Now he's got to get back into the objective before he <laughs> gets himself killed. We're seeing Craze. He's trying to get the spawn peak off onto maybe... Uh, her. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to call him NK. But he does not pick him off. So, this is really interesting how this match is going to turn out. We we don't usually see strategies for Vavela ever since it got taken off on ranked as Kool-Aid runs out on MK. Nice kill right there on the MK. Kool-Aid ran out that laundry room door. We usually see that happen a lot. He's prepared to do it again if he needs to. But he's going back up trying to rotate back make sure he doesn't die. As we do not see any of the R6N team pushed inside yet. As the spawn peaks of Favela are insane. We do see some shots coming out from E-Money. But he gets taken down by Ace with the pulse shotgun. But he does get lit up. And now he's running up, rotating upstairs to get health from Kool-Aid. Great teamwork there. Only gets one stem. Asking for another. And he does get, get it as the spawn peaks are unreal. From this fluctuate side. You say that. I've heard a lot of people say this map is unbalanced for the defensive side. But fluctuate is showing otherwise right now. With all these spawn peaks countering the offensive rush. As Shredder's trying to get in. Gets lit up by True Craze right there. Trade back shots. Downs True. True Craze. But Razor fires back. And Kool-Aid jumping out. Doesn't get taken down, turns around, and still gets picked up. Does light up Shredder, though, and I believe True Craze has been picked up by Prophecy. And all four members of Fluctuate now are down below. We're going to see True Craze rotating up back to the objective, making sure no one gets inside. Funko Bowl has pushed into pink, but he has jumped back out after being spotted. They only have 40 seconds left to push. It's been a very slow game. Offensive team could not push inside because of all the spawn peaks. And we've seen very outside play from uh, from R6N right now. Now they're trying to get a push inside. They're trying to push the objective. There is no one in objective until now. They hear they're all rushing the ash hole that has just been created to try and push in the objective. Shredder coming in laundry takes out true crates. Hollywood is going to get Razor Prophecy. They're trying to push in. They got to push in now. The Ella does get Hollywood. Kagomi watching from pink takes down wood but Funkable takes out Kagomi and now the last one is in weed and he gets take and he takes down Funkable before he could before he could die and that is round win for fluctuate I thought that R6N was going to clutch it up they almost did ba very bad play from R6N, they have to get inside, they have to find a way in, they have to counter the spawn peaks, get inside, and you see Fluctuate is running a monting in order to counter the spawn peaks, in order to get inside quick enough, and then you saw at the end, R6N also tried to plant in the wrong spot, you have to get into the double small rooms in order to plant in that objective. So, R6N going to be running football as well. Probably the best objective, the only good objective on Favela, except for Bikers. Bikers is 
a very good hold as well as long as you know how to do it right you're gonna see rook giving his teammates armor very good play teamwork right there i like to see that got the anchors he's gonna give his team a little bit of an advantage shredder has a mirror not sure where he's gonna place them not many good spots for mirror on this map but you can always find something new as fluctuate gonna hide their drones very smart there don't want to get them taken out twitch gonna come and get the cameras and that's something we we uh we got to see the whole wall getting reinforced if you do not have coordination you cannot make that won't happen but you really need that whole wall to be reinforced so the, the attacking side can not push from the east side but we're not going to see any spawn peaks coming up from R6N. All of them playing in the objective or around the objective. Funkable actually going to break open a window to see if he can pick anyone off. As Ace is going to rush in, pick off E-Money. But now the R6N is going to peek it. And bad idea. MK gets taken down as well. Funkable gets Razor Prophecy, which is trying to push in upstairs. Another one pushes in after him. And gets lit up, but takes down Funkable. And now it is 4v2, last two in the objective. Montang calling out where the last two are for his team. True Craze still outside, needs to get in, help his team out a little bit. As Habana and Ace are in pink. And now Kagomi is going to rotate around and try and plant. As Ace is going to pick up Hollywood, only one left, which is Mira. Trying to pick up Ace. Ace drop shots, lights shredder up. Gonna push, gonna push, and Ace gonna get the 4K. Picks up Shredder. There's that 4 speed Astria. Nice kills by Ace. He wanted me to call him Sergio, but no chance in hell that I call him that. It's Ace. Ace Venturi, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna see R6N fall 0 2 down. Very poor execution. They got rushed in from pink and they tried to. They had two people peek it and they both went down. Not smart play there. Just gonna see. Ooh, Fluctuate's gonna be running packaging and meth lab. That's a very weird choice. I don't usually see that. But then again, what other room are gonna go in? My personal choice when this map used to be on ranked, I would usually go bikers after football, but. They decide to go packaging, and I'm not sure how they're going to hold this down. But you never know. You never know what could happen, I guess. <laughs> they got to get that whole wall reinforced in packaging if they don't want angles go lower. They really need the teamwork on the wall reinforcement, and we don't see it happening right now. True Craze is getting the drone hunting on. It's going to be roaming as post pops open the football hatch. And Kagomi's gonna pick up the rest of the reinforcements. Not see only only four, re five reinforcements right there. So the rest of the wall is open for R six N to attack. This Kool Aid does get a cam outside. Wonder if we're gonna see any spawn peaks. Yes. Oh, Ace almost got the spawn peak as E Money with the one tap, or it sounded like it on the Kool Aid who was trying to run out. Or spawn peak. But Ace is going to run out on E-Money now. With and now MK is going to be watching that. He knows her he knows Ace is there. But Hollywood does MK's job for him. Picks up Ace. And now the aggressive play is getting heavily countered by this R6N team. As Kagomi gets funkable. And now it is 3v3 once again. Even. I don't know what Hollywood is doing. He needs to push in. That's exactly what he's doing. He's going to push in on, on the True Craze. Who gets Shredder from behind him. I think True does still have a Nitro. No, he doesn't have a Nitro. Kagomi's going to get MK. And now it's all up to Hollywood. Not much he could do. As the Ella goes out. Makes him retract his shield. And Razor shoots his feet. For a second there, I thought R6N was going to win. But they, they choked. They heavily choked, so. So here we are. Our success is down three points in round four. And Fluctuate is up three points. Don't know how this is one that's going to turn out, but. 
So we're going to see R610 running football once again. They're going to be running a cap can. Smart play. They knew that Fluxway rushed in last time, and they're going to try and try and capitalize, light some few, light a few people up with cap can traps. If they try to rush in again. I personally would run a Legion if they tried to rush in again. Maybe a Legion and a cap can. Three trap operators that are very hard to counter unless you have an IQ. What should they do? Let's see how they're going to be setting this up. No Rook this time. I think they run a mute instead, trying to halt the drones. You see fluctuate heavy drone players. You, that's what you gotta be if you wanna win. Pretty much the same setup. They're not getting all of green wall. They're just gonna get both of the small, small rooms walls, so that no one could uh, get those walls and maybe quick plant. Throw some smokes at the doors and just jump in. Quick plant. It's as easy as that. Gonna see Cap Can placement on the outside door of the green. Making sure no one rushes in from there and gets in gets into pretty close to the objective where usually the, all the defenders can't. So we're gonna see pretty much all of our success roaming in pink. None of them in yellow, which allows Ace to push up quick. This time he's pushing up from yellow instead of pink. Smart play adds all of our success team is on the pink side. That's true crazy gets MK and now Ace is trying to push up into the objective. Making sure no one's in the in there. He's gonna drone it out as Ella's gonna trade some shots onto Ash Funkable and Kagomi is now lit. As we hear Ace Ace is pushing in, gets the Ella effect on him, doesn't matter. I think Funkable got downed. And the plant is off. True Craze picks up Flunkable. Now, Ace is smoked out. But Shredder runs right into the cursor of Prophecy. Gets picked up by E-Money. Now it's just up to E-Money and Hollywood. But they go both get picked up. One by Shotgun and one by True Craze. Wow, look at that potato over the top of the head. So, fluctuate it's up 0-4, or 4-0, and R6 sentence down 0-4. We're going to see Ace running a recruit. The cockiness comes into play here. That was a big key word in the last scrimmage between these two teams. Cockiness, and it is coming into play right now. So, we're going to see run, uh, fluctuate is running football once again. Getting both of the hatches for uh, easy rotation. We're gonna see, I think we're gonna see heavy spawn peaks once again from this fluctuate side. As they get the weed hatch popped out as well. Last time we did see Doc was getting the spawn peak onto a few people, but this, and last time that was Kool Aid, but this time it is gonna be True Craze. Kool Aid is gonna be running. Farmer, farmer, farmer. Kool Aid is gonna be running. Why did I call him farmer? Why did I call him that? I don't. I just looked at. It. I was like, oh, farmer. What? But yeah, Kool Aid is gonna be running Valkyrie. Jumped out, maybe trying to scare or bait in some of the R6N members. It's true. Crazy getting spawn peek off to E Money. Kills his own teammate who ran out, which is Kagomi. He downs E Money. Does not finish him off. Is Funkable gonna be coming up? And gets lit up for his effort trying to revive his teammate. Doesn't get killed. So, true craze. Kills Kagomi, who was trying to run past. And, he might be going to be popping a smoke. And he gets picked off. The thermal site coming into play. True craze cannot predict where E-Money was. Very good play right there from E-Money. And a good play from Funkable trying to picking up e-money so now it's 4-3 thanks to true craze killing kagomi so we see ace got the sausage best shotgun in the game 
Making sure no one pushes that that A door. Very easy plant for the offensive team. We see E Money missing all of his shots on that window. Only takes three to take it down. Took him his whole mag. He's gonna be repelling up under the second floor pink window. There's no one in pink except for Bandit, who is prophesying. He hears him roping in. Got the pistol out as Ace gonna pick up MK and Razor Prophecy gets E Money. And now Ace with the sausage picks up Funkable. And now just like that in the snap. It is 2-3 as the Claymore picks up Ace, who was trying to run out. And now it's 2-2. Two, two. You see R6N blew their lead of players. They had it up about 4-3 or 5-3, something like that. And now it's 2-2. Two to two. So they blew their lead. They blew it. But now they have to make this clutch as Hollywood is going to try and light up Kool-Aid, maybe distract him a little bit. But the drone gets taken out easily. Hollywood camping in the back of the spawn. It got 40 seconds to push up with his teammate and get the team play going in order to stop fluctuate from 5-0ing them. They need to get together. They need to work together. As Prophecy is trying to get Hollywood with the pistol doesn't. And Hollywood trades bullets back. Does neither of them light each other up. But Hollywood gonna get Prophecy. And now it is two versus one. But only 15 seconds left. Hollywood is going to get in. Get the diffuser. And now 1v1 as Kool-Aid picks up Shredder. Knows where Hollywood is going to be pushing in from. Tries to hit him with a deagle. Going to go around. Five seconds left. Pistol time. And Kool-Aid one taps Hollywood for the 5-0 for the first map. Now. The 5-0 on Favela from Fluctuate right there. Now we're going to go into map 2, which is Clubhouse. We will see you there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is the second map of the scrimmage between R6N and Fluctuate. We're going on Clubhouse now. I don't think we've seen these two teams face off on Clubhouse yet. I should have went to the bathroom. So we're going to see Fluctuate is running Church as that is the best pick. And I will be right back. back we're here on clubhouse i already said that i know all right so we're gonna see fluctuate running the church arsenal hold not they make a penis in the wall i don't know why they did that i don't maybe it's a good luck charm i don't know maybe they're all gay <laughs> but nothing really no, no strategies really going out here they didn't even really reinforce uh, any objective walls they got the hatches and that's just about it as Ace is going to be playing in the kitchen, which isn't reinforced either, but I don't know what they're thinking, not reinforcing these hatches or not reinforcing anything in the in the objective. Maybe they're thinking that Heart 6 Town won't get that far. And only two people in objective, as a matter of fact, as we see all of Fluctuate, half of Fluctuate is roaming. We see Shredder is repelling all the way up to the roof. Followed by Drawn and Funkable. Hollywood joining in the objective. Now three members of Fluctuate have rotated back into the objective. We already see a man downed, which is going to be Kool-Aid, who tried to run out from the office. They s R6N saw that one coming. They get the kill onto Kool-Aid, and that's their, that's their team captain down. As 
Hollywood tried to push in too quick, gets picked up by Kagomi, and that is the diffuser. Now R6N had a huge disadvantage. No one was with Hollywood, and now they have to rotate and get the diffuser back, or else there's possibility, a huge possibility that they will lose this round as Ace gets E money. But Shredder, Shredder's gonna get Ace, and Prophecy tries to help avenge Ace, but gets picked up. From Shredder, Shredder going off with a double kill. Now gonna pick up Dr Dron. As Funkable is all by himself, he hears a man. He thinks he hears him up at the ladder, but nope. That's the wrong hearing. As we see, the last two members, the last two members of Fluctuate are both hiding at the diffuser, which is in the ladder. And True Crates might pick up Funkable. Could have had him if he wa didn't have the burst fire. You're gonna see Candela's being thrown into the objective. All they have to do is sandwich this fluctuate team. But they don't know that both of them are in the ladder as Shredder's gonna come around. Oh, he didn't get picked up. But he might get picked up there. No, True Crates didn't see him. And the drone is coming out. Here's the call that's gonna be made. Sees True Craze in the other corner. Doesn't know that Kagomi is there. And final flashbang. Both of them turning around. Another one coming out. Both both turn around again. And Shredder tried to drop. And Funkable gets downed. And now it's up to Ying. Who is pushing. Gets taken out. Gets, picks up True Craze. Wait a minute. Tries to run. What are you, where are you going? Kagomi realizes that Yang picked up the diffuser, which is Jeroon. Dead. Dead. I mean, poor, poor execution. Terrible execution there from R6N. They could have sandwiched easily. They were both hiding in the ladder. All they had to do was not get cocky and both sandwich them. But they decided not to do that, and they lost for it. That really is disappointing, man. That was an easy round win for R6N, and they just threw it. They just threw it. Poor, poor execution. And Kigomi's gonna finish this off. Right there. So, Fluxuate picks up the first round win in this match. As now, we're going to see R6N on the defending side. It's their turn to try and defend and cook something up. Maybe a round win. They need to get the momentum rolling. And they decide to go gym and bedroom first. Not the smartest choice. I don't know what they're doing here. Maybe they have a good mirror strategy or something, but... <sighs> I'm just I'm extremely disappointed that they didn't win that last round. They were both in the ladder, and they still couldn't... Oh, my heart just hurts for this team right now. It really does. I don't know why they went bedroom first. They could have went church, which is the better room to hold, but now they're in bedroom. They're stuck here, and there's so many lanes that could be opened up. You could open up the hatch in this office which is can't be reinforced you can open up, up the gym hatch which can't be reinforced you could smoke off the impact hole you could smoke off the door just jump in and plant easy as that and no one's gonna camp in gym because you're gonna that's a death sentence if you camp in there so it's just an easy easy plant for the fluctuate side right now Fluctuate being aware of the runouts, making sure none of their teammates die from it. We're gonna see Ella is rotating around to where E Money is, which is funkable. It's gonna go up into cash. I'm trying to get a run out going there. For some reason throws a Grisma on the railing and Razor Profit is gonna get drone. True Crates picks up Hollywood and now E Money is gonna have to rotate back. Gotta get back to the objective to make sure they don't take it over. Kagomi, for some reason, thinks that they're in Arsenal. Is he gonna drop and waste it? Nope. He gets the call out. He gets the call that 
that they're in master razor gets shredded and now true crates pre-firing through the window after the impact hole was made he knows someone is in cash as ace is going to pick up funkable and now one man left for the r6m team he's going to get pre-fired and taken out by kool-aid with the revolver disappointing just disappointing see fluctuate doing their their best this game and r6n just can't keep up can't keep up there are 28 members in this in the rct community and we only have four three teams announced that we know of so we're until the community steps up and tells me <laughs> what the hell the teams are so we could actually get more teams on scrims and actually like start up a tournament we're going to be seeing these fluctuate r6n and team pro we're going to be seeing them so many times just hell of a it's only three teams As now we're going to be seen fluctuate, holding down cash, which is a good room to hold if you have the right strategy. Razor Prophecy is going to try and blow out this whole wall for an easy run out or an easy death for whoever's camping in A. As Ace is going to set up a run out for the east side in case anyone on the r 6 side spawns there. You did see that spawn peak is a little bit fixed that bridge you cannot really easily get spawn peak from there anymore but they're gonna try it anyway they're gonna try it anyway so we see kagomi running out no one spawned over there but we're gonna see prophecy and kool-aid both trying to get shredder they are detected they're lighting up shredder but shredder is gonna light up prophecy prophecy Wow, Shredder. Can't believe that. He keeps re-peaking the same spot. As Ace is going to get E-Money and Funkable is going to get Ace. But Kool-Aid picks up Funkable. And now Shredder is going to come back around and try and peek as he gets Kool-Aid. Who is trying to maybe go back in. But Prophecy lights him up. And Shredder is now only at one health if he re-peaks it. He is going to die. He's trying to get Prophecy. Prophecy knows he's trying to go back around. Bait him last time. Still can't get the kill. And Shredder is at one health. I mean, I don't know what the hell Shredder is doing. But he's just not doing it right. As both men are at one health now. Trying to shoot under dozen. And now Jerome is going to get Razor. Finally, Razor is picked off. And now it's up to Kagomi and Kraves. Basically, 2v2, a Shredder is very, very low health after that never-ending gunfight between him and Prophecy. We see Kraze and Kagomi both holding down the objective. They know, I think, they know where Diffuser is as Druin is peeking the run out. If Kagomi decides to do it, he will get picked up. And he tried to, but he... <laughs> like I said, he's going to get picked up as True Craze picks up Shredder, who was trying to peek the window. Both of these men, Hollywood and Jerome, need to meet up and both push True Craze. An easy win scenario for this R6N team right now. It's True Craze, here's the repel. Jerome is going to be droning out the objective. They spot True Craze. Not sure if Tra Craze saw that drone. That's Jerome. Yeah, he saw it now. Jerome... Drone is going to be going to the, the south window. That craze is peeking. But craze, here's one. Jump in. That's Drone. Gets picked up. Now knows the other one is at the window behind him and turns on him, snaps on him. That was Hollywood. That easy win for R6N. And they fold it again. Again. Just like the latter scenario. Easy wins for R6N. And they keep on choking. They keep on choking. I don't know what's up with them. Maybe I should play with them and help them get better because this is just this is just not okay. It's just not. 
This, the good thing about the, these matches is that Arctic Sand is learning from Fluctuate. And maybe they might try and pick up some of the same, same strategies that Fluctuate are using. Which will help them. Like, help them heavily. So if we see Fluctuate win this game, they're going to pick up to 2-1. and one. And if R6N loses this game, they're going to drop down to 0-2. And, Team Pro is 1-0 and oh after beating Fluctuate. But if Fluctuate wins this match, then they're at a Team Pro in the seed. So... We see Razor Prophecy rushing in. Doesn't know Valkyrie is right above him. Blitz is rushing in right behind him. Valkyrie's gonna get the kill, which is Shredder on the Razor. And Ella is up there with him. Oh, E Money's gonna drop down. He's gonna pick up Kool Aid and True and True Craze. Or oh, no, E Money fucking threw a Night Show from up top. E Money, I don't even know. Funkable. Wow, they all try to rush in Garage and they all get picked up for their effort. And now Ace is gonna down Jerone and sledge him into the head and Kagomi's gonna get E money are they gonna fold again it was four versus two now it's three versus two Nitro gets thrown out doesn't pick anyone up Shredder I thought E money was Valkyrie but no it's Shredder As Ace picks up Hollywood, it is now 2v2. This was a 4v2 situation, and they folded again. Now Kagomi gonna peek this door and picks up Shredder. One man left for the R6N team who tries to run out, and he's gonna pay for it. Fluctuate knows exactly where he is. As Ace is gonna wait for him to run back in and try and sledge him. His plant is off. Ace is going for the sledge kill. All Funkable has to do is... Oh, he knows he's there. Gonna run back into the Abdir objective. Kagomi hears him. And Ace hears him. They're trying not to get the kill, but Kagomi picks him up with a shotgun from about, like, <laughs> 10 meters away. R6 hand is just... They can't do it. They have all the things they need to win, and they don't win. They lose every single time. They have the advantage. They have everything they need in order to win a round, and they keep losing every time. It's disappointing. Very disappointing. We're going to see Fluctuate. All running recruits. I don't blame them. They're up 4-0. Looking for the 5-0. That'd be 5-0 on both maps. As Ace is going to kill True Craze with a headshot. Once again. Our 6 n has the advantage. One man up. And I believe they're still going to lose. Because they just cannot capitalize on all the advantages that they've get been given. As... Now Ace is going to kill Prophecy, and Ace is also going to kill Kulin. In the same situation, Ace and Kagomi. Ace is trying to go kill Kagomi, I believe. If R6N does not win this round, I don't know. I don't know. They are up. Four, <laughs> three men. About to be four. They are now up four, four men. An easy, easy round win for our six hand. And if they don't win, I'm done. For real, I'm done. I give up if they don't win this round. 
as Ace is going to kill Hollywood. They're all rushing in. All of our 6 are rushing in. They know there's only one man on the enemy team. And Ace is waiting for them all to come. Waiting for them to try and pick up the kill on him. Here's some coming. Gets the spot out. E-Money doesn't know he's there. And gets picked up. And that was the diffuser, but Ace is not waiting on it. Which he should be doing. He's going to go above and see if anyone's up there. But no one is. All men for R6N now in the objective. They do not have diffuser. Ace up at the hatch. No one knows. And he's going to get drawn. And now... Funkable is going to try and go around to get the diffuser. Ace is running over to the blue to try and get the flank off. Shredder still thinks he's at the hatch. And now Funkable is going to go in and plant at A. Going to plant in the corner. What is he doing? He's running over to B. Trying to get the plant off. Easy kill for Ace. Easy. I swear to fucking God. I s I'm, like, I swear to God. If R6 Sun finds a way to lose this round, I'm done. I'm done. I just can't. I'm gonna die. I swear to God, I will die if R6 Sun finds a way to lose this round. Shredder has to get the diffuser. He knows Ace is up at the hatch. Only 25 seconds left. There's nothing Shredder could do here. He's got to run for the diffuser or peak Ace. Ace is waiting for the knife kill. I would be excited for Ace if this were actually a fair, close match. It just wasn't. It wasn't. Every time r 6 had the advantage, every time it looked like they were gonna win the round, they lose. Every time. Easy wins for r 6 and they lose. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.